Want a spice of your barbecue and keep it healthy? A great place to start is with the side dishes. Just a half a cup of potato or macaroni salad with mayonnaise has almost 200 calories and 11 grams of fat. But we've got Chris Leahy from VLT Prime in New York to help us think outside the container, lower the calories and fat, and liven up your barbecue with some great flavors. Hi, Chris. Hi, how's it going? Great, great. So I think you have some great ideas to help us think think differently and more creatively. Yes, I do. And one thing we're going to do is we're going to try a dish that I like to call a smashed fingerling potatoes. Oh, yum. Okay. So what we have here is we have some nice, beautiful fingerling potatoes. We're just going to lightly brush them with some Pam's Ray. Put a little bit of rosemary on top. Okay. And just sprinkle lightly with salt. And then what we'll do is we'll just wrap it up. What we're making is we're making a tent. And so just go ahead and just pop those on the grill. Okay. Perfect. Then what we're going to add to that is some roasted garlic. So what you do is you're about a third of the way down, you cut your garlic. So again, you're going to put a little bit of salt on your garlic, just a little bit of rosemary, and again, just a little bit of Pam spray. We're also tenting that to let it steam to allow the garlic to cook in its own juices. Another side that I like to do when we're barbecuing, uh -huh. is I like to make some grilled lettuce salads. Really? You want to choose a head of lettuce, such as a radicchio. So what we will do is you just very easily slice it down the middle, okay. keeping the core intact. And then we'll slice it one more time, and so that way you have four nice pieces. So we're just going to simply take the lettuce, okay. all right? We're just going to put it onto our grill. Now, the, you have to be very careful because the lettuce is going to cook rather quickly. Okay. And we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little bit of dressing for our radicchio as it grills. What I have done earlier today is I had roasted some bell peppers. Okay. okay. And then I put the plastic wrap on top of the bell pepper. It helps avoid us having to use olive oil because uh, the peppers themselves release their own natural oil. We have a little bit of balsamic vinegar. We have some fresh thyme. We have a little bit of salt. Pinch of red chili flakes, and we'll mix it together. And we have peeled and seeded the peppers and sliced them thinly. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do now is to our bell peppers, we're going to add some sliced grilled eggplants. Okay. We're going to add some crumbled feta cheese. Okay. Feta is actually extremely low in fat relative to other cheeses, and it just it packs a really pungent, concentrated yeah. flavor, so you don't need to use a lot of it. Then what we'll do with this now is that we'll dress all of our grilled vegetables with it. We'll just kind of fold them together. So let's check out our, our radicchio. And how long has that been on there now? Radicchio takes about four minutes to cook. So what we'll do now is that we'll just take our mixed vegetables here. We'll just kind of put them all over each other. We have now just made a very interesting and unique salad without very much fat whatsoever. Yeah. So how are our potatoes doing? Well, let's give them a check. So you want to be very careful when you open the package because it's going to be very, very steam filled. Now what we will do is put them inside of our bowl here. We'll also take our garlic head. What you're gonna do is you wanna squeeze out the garlic and as you see it just so easily comes out of the head. What we'll do to this is we'll take some fresh chopped rosemary. Okay. We'll take a little more of our salt. And we'll take some of our black pepper. And then to this we'll add some truffle oil. So you just wanna use just a little bit of this oil. Too much of it and it imparts too heavy of a truffle flavor. It's just a really great way to incorporate a ton of flavor with actually fewer calories and fat per tablespoon than olive oil. So while the potatoes are warm, you want to smash them up with a fork. Okay. Wow, Chris, these look amazing. Thank you. Your potatoes have no mayonnaise and only 150 calories and three grams of fat per serving. But if we ate just a half a cup serving of potato salad with the mayo, we'd be looking at almost 200 calories and 11 grams of fat. And that amazing grilled salad, a half a cup portion is only 60 calories and five grams of fat. Chris, thanks so much for these great recipes. They're quick, easy, and best of all, tasty. Thank you.